As much as what's behind me looks like it's a laser cannon, and as much as you want it to be one, well, it's something different. It's something else. It's the creation of Mike Soroka and Eric Friedrich by day, a software engineer and a robotics engineer, but by night, artisans, asylum inmates, and you guys have created the laser harp. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me a little bit, give me the 30,000 foot view of what it is and how it works. It's all you. Okay. Up top, we got yeah. 12 laser pointers shining their beams down onto some sensors below. Okay. When you put your hand into one of the laser beams, right, can sense that you're blocking the beam yep. and will play a musical note um, on some speakers we have. Now, will it also stop your garage door from coming down all the way if you interrupt those beams, or does it just play music? It will definitely stop the garage door. <laughs> All right, so we've got this thing here, and both architecturally and mechanically, it looks like it looks like a masterpiece. But thank you. How do you go from a blank slate to this? What's the inspiration? There was a lot of talking. We spent what three, four, Probably five two nights, or, two or three weeks, tossing ideas back and forth. We started with we started with fire. Um, like you, I like it. Continue. You immediately need fire, right? So, so first, <laughs> first we first we thought like it would be really cool if we could do something that shoots like plumes of propane that ignites, that has something to do with music, and the the music and the and the fire sort of started coming out of the woodwork. We had kind of two inspirations for this. Okay. The first one um, was those wine bottle holders where you have like an angle. Oh yeah. Angle piece of wood, and then yep. the wine bottle kind of like floats in midair. Right. So we wanted it to look like that a little bit. Um, and the other thing is we kind of wanted it to look like a harp. There are a lot of other laser harps out there that don't look anything like a harp, and we thought it'd be cool to bring it back towards a musical instrument. Just the frame itself, what did, what's that made out of, and how does that work? So the, the frame is plywood. Um, there, are, there are three major components. There's our cantilever beam at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, there's our base uh, torsion box structure, and then there's our, um, our base. Okay. So the base is purely to house our electronics. It's it's, uh, it's focused under the center of mass of the system. Right. Um, to to create that wine bottle concept. Um, right. You know we need we needed to have something that looks like it's dynamically unstable, but is actually stable. So um, by creating something that, that falls right under the center of mass of the two upper components, the whole thing is is not actually going to fall over, which is a little <laughs> deceiving and. The, the first time we actually set it up on a table and took a step back, there is a lot of. Um... <laughs> so, is the box itself hollow in the arm? Yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the the biggest obstacle that we had was keeping this thing structural, right? The, there's a there's a pretty substantial mass sticking out on this lever that's just trying to fall apart and rip the thing apart. Right. Um, you know, we we built this for this for, for this event today, but really we got it totally amped on this project and wanted to last for a long, long time. Uh -huh. So we want it to be as structurally stable as possible. So to do that, we built we built a torsion box. Um, mm -hmm. A torsion box is a hollow box with some trussing inside of it so that it resists um, torsion, oh, torsion bending. being going this way. Exactly. Right. Um, but it also keeps it lightweight. So that way we're able to give it some serious structure without risking building something that's flimsy or is going to fall over. So we can sort of balance between. The box is, is really rigid. Mike was, you know, had someone underneath holding it and he was walking up the, the top of the box when he first built it. Nice, you can do ankle stretches on yes. it too then. Yeah. Okay, so yes. it's a multifunctional device. Garage doors, ankles, <laughs> laser heart. <hurt. laughs>